Shouldn't there be a helmet with that? Oh, God, did I forget to pick up a helmet? Was there a helmet? Did I miss a helmet? Oh, you know what? This take that stupid Ooh, helmet. Got off. something good for me? Is it a dress? Oh, we're gonna have to go back to the bloody vault and find a helmet. But I hate vaults. Yippee! There'll be no wedding bells. And we're back. We're back here in a bloody vault. That's right. We had to come back here because we didn't do a very good job of looting last time. Specifically, the helmet for this armor. This is the Vault Tech Power Armor that I've decided to give to Veronica. It looks very nice and shiny. But it had absolutely no helmet. And we should sort an outfit out for you, but what? Um, we'll do that in a second. Yeah, the helmet is over here. The Vault Tech Power Helmet. Okay, can't quite see it. And we've got a Power Armor Training Manual. Brilliant! If I didn't already know how to use Power Armor, I could actually start to use it. And I also noticed in a cursory glance that I had missed a few other things. Books! Bobblehead Intelligence. Okay. Books, bobbleheads. Those are the bobbleheads added by... Oh, yeah. Added by the Bison Steve Hotel thing. Right. Foot locker. And I didn't take anything from there. Hey, it's for am ammo. Ammo's always cool. Anyway, yeah, so we've got... Ooh, got something good for me? I hope so. Is it a dress? Shush. Okay, it was the vault -Tec Power Armor Helmet. Let's see. Um. Um. I, I like the armor, I'm not too sure. And it doesn't look very stealthy, does it? I mean, realistically, that does not look stealthy. I'm curious. What's up? You still sound funny as well. Okay. Um, See? But I suppose it it hides the fact that you're with the Brotherhood, which might be useful occasionally, especially when we hang out with or near the NCR. But still. What do you think? Yeah, I'm, I'm not a power armor person myself either. I think we got everything. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, no, no, no. We were... We were going to sort your... You know what? Let's get out of here. I hate vaults. Let's get out of the vault. And then we will have a look at your inventory and think about what the hell you should be using. And what we're doing. You see, what I think we should be doing is heading off back to Nellis Air Base. It still freaks me out that you guys manage to get ahead of me whenever I go through doors. It's as though I lose time when I pass through doors. And I'm very competitive about going through doors. Actually, th that helmet looks kind of cool with the glowing eyes. You look kind of intimidating. But in a classy kind of way. Really, you guys are going to get confused by a slight drop. Fine. At least I'm likely to get to the van before you both. Although, God knows, they don't half move fast when they want to. Come on, come on, come on. Sprint, 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 sprint. Oh, we got this. We got this. We got this. Tag. You hear this? I got it. Kind of <laughs> <one of them casinos laughs> yeah. Got yeah, 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 yeah. 
You've got the doors covered, I've got everything else. All right, let's have a look. Uh, actually, you know what? Before we... I can't believe we're allowed inside the Lucky 38. That place has been a legend since before the war. Yeah, they're probably not going to let us in. Who told you we were going in? If that's why you're hanging out with me, I'm afraid I got some bad news. The owner of that place? Probably not all that keen on me. Talk about your tactics. Uh, I have some questions I'd like to ask you. Questions, boss? You mean you don't know everything there is to know already? That was... That was sarcasm, wasn't it? Okay. Actually, yeah, I'll tell you what. Can you tell me anything about Mr. House? You're pretty old. Just how old do you think I am, boss? Okay. Because I can pretty much guarantee I'm older than that. Let me tell you a story from before the Great War. Everybody knew Robert House. He was a genius, a superstar. Founded Robco at 22. Dated Hollywood starlets, the works. They say he saved Las Vegas. I was in Mexico City when the bombs dropped. Even from there, we could see House's defensive rockets shooting down the incoming missiles. Everybody assumed he died in the war. Maybe he did. But his robots are still out there roaming the waste. And now, a Mr. House rules New Vegas. You can't seriously think they're the same Mr. House? Maybe there's a connection. There probably is, isn't there? Can you remember anything else about him? I remember there were some weird stories about him. Especially near the end. There was a tell-all in El Padiódico de las Arboridas by a starlet house dated. She said they never, uh... Now don't make me spell it out, boss. Okay, got anyway, it, Anyway, she said all he wanted to do was scan her brain and make her dress up in different outfits. Um... Uh, that's not sickening. That's a little strange, but... So you think they're the same Mr. House? Maybe not. Maybe the new guy is just a clever raider chief with knowledge of history. Maybe mm -hmm. he just left instructions for his robots to carry out in his name. Or maybe Robert House uploaded his brain pattern into a computer and rules to this day a godless, soulless machine god. Maybe the whole thing's a crazy coincidence. Who knows? Yeah... I had some other questions. You're a veritable geyser of curiosity, boss. That's me. Mr. Curiosity Geyser. Do you know anything about a goon named Benny wears a checkered coat, carries a big pistol? It wasn't that big. Really, I know it was in my face at the time, but it wasn't that big. It was a 9mm. Benny, huh? Sorry, boss. Doesn't ring a bell. Then again, my brain isn't as sharp as it used yeah, to be. Yeah, don't worry about it. Benny's dead. You're a veritable geyser of curiosity, boss. What's your take on it? Yeah, let's find out where he uh, stands vis-a-vis -vis the political situation here. NCR. They're all right, I suppose. Had a bit of a tough going there at the beginning. You know their first town was nearly wiped out by raiders. Anyway, they got their good points and their bad. Just like a lot of the old governments from before the war. Yeah. Pretty much how I'm seeing it. A veritable geyser of curiosity. Okay, enough of that. How do you feel about Caesar's Legion? And please answer this correctly. I don't really have a problem with them. People around here tend to see them as invading marauders planning to burn and pillage the countryside. But I've been to Arizona, boss. Before the Legion, it was a nasty place. So thick with raiders you couldn't trade with a town two miles up the road. Caesar's laws are nice, and their actions aren't always pretty. But then neither am I. But you keep me around. Yeah, you don't enslave people. I hope. Hmm. You're a veritable geyser of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, let's have a look. Tell me about New Vegas. It's big, it's bright, and it's one of the biggest cities still left from before the war. Well, mostly anyway. It used to be just a curiosity. The buildings were pre-war. But it's just as full of raiders and barbarian tribes as any place else. Then Mr. House took over. Got the power turned back on and got the tribes reformed into something civilized. And now they run his casinos for him. Okay. So, do I have anything else to ask him? Apparently not. Tell me about your... Go on, then. Sure, boss. What do you want to know? Start at the top. Who are you? You forget about me already, boss? Absolutely. You sure you didn't take a blow to the head or something? 
My name is Constant. Raul Alfonso Tejada. Why do you say... Okay, now we, we've, we, we have... Anything else you would like to share other than your name? Boss, usually when somebody gives you a name and nothing else, it's because that's all they want to give you. All right. Anything to hold your attention, boss. Um... Sure, boss. What else? Where are you from? How old are you? What's Petro Chico? Yeah, what is Petro Chico? You never heard of Petro Chico? Un amigo de Poseidon Energy. Uh, of course not. They were an oil company in Mexico back before the war. Okay. I'm an open book, boss. Granted, the book's in Spanish and some of the pages have fallen out, but I'm an open book. Okay, okay. Um, that's probably the, uh, the the most important one here. How can I make best use of your skills, and what sort of outfit would you like? Because we've got to get rid of that overall. I'm not much use besides being a portable encyclopedia, really. I guess you could use me as a pack Brahmin, but my knees aren't so good anymore. You're 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 not selling yourself particularly well here. You must have some skills. Come on. That's nice of you to say, boss. But I'm an old man. Not much use to anybody anymore. Time was. I was a pretty good shot with a pistol. I guess I'm still half decent. These old bones aren't much use in hand-to-hand -hand fighting, though. I can also do maintenance work on your stuff. I don't have the supplies for a real repair job. But I can keep your gear working longer. Okay, that's actually kind of useful, although I'm a bit of a repair buff myself. But um, lots of older people are still useful to their friends and communities. Okay, let, okay. Yeah, maybe you can introduce them to me, if we find them, because I've never met one. You never met useful old people, Doc Mitchell. Do you, I'll introduce you to Doc Mitchell. Patch me up just fine. He's pretty much the oldest person I have met, I think. That was useful, anyway. Um, anything I'm an else? open book, boss. Granted, the book's in Spanish and some of the... Let's talk about something else. I'll tell you what. Anything to hold your attention, boss. Let's have a look what you've got then. Equipment. So I'm you like sure your you'll pistol. Be fair and equitable, boss. And a lead pipe. All right. Well, um, I have a variety of decent revolvers. But you like the forty forty? I mean, I, I gave, I gave a three fifty seven to Doc. That was pretty good. Let's have a look at his damage at forty nine. And would you like a gunfighter's hat? Let's have a look. Okay. That actually is not too bad on you. That is not too bad on you at all, except apparently your um, skin's clip. I tell you what, just give me a sec. Get just. Everybody, come away from the door. Oh, you are away from the door. My bad. Should have brought something okay. Wait here. Okay, that's flags power armor, and no, it just it's not, is Ooh, it? Got no. something good for me? Yeah. Is it a dress? Just not it's not right for you, Veronica. It just isn't. You're a classy lady. And the Vault Tech power armor is just. Well, yeah, no, it just it looks a little more. Sleek and classy. The helmet's a little. I'd like an open. I'd like an open helmet, but I don't want to get you killed. Okay, so you. Let's have a look. Now I've I'm got. I'm sure you'll be fair and equitable, boss. Of course I will. Shut up. Um, I'm giving you stuff. I'm giving you stuff. First thing we're gonna have a look at is say a bounty hunter duster. Let's have, let's have a look at the bounty hunter duster. See that, 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 that. I'm sorry, could you? I'll, I'll look this way. That's actually a pretty good look for you. The Bounty Hunter Duster is... That's a pretty good look. I'm, I'm, I'm liking that. I'm sure you'll be fair and equitable, boss. I'm going to stop being fair and equitable, equ equitable if you don't stop saying that. Let's look at the Eastwoods Ensemble. The orders for service rifles and ammunition have been pouring in from McCarran so fast. That has got a up. certain a, a certain something actually. That has got I expect a, to be awed by your dizzy mercantile sense, boss. 
Would you please shush? Um, that does have a certain something. But we're going to give you the Gunslinger Ranger's hat and Ranger's outfit. Um, no, because it makes your wrist look funny. Yeah, I remember that. I expect to be awed by your dizzy mercantile sense, boss. You're getting annoying now. Uh, there was patrol armor as well. Um, let's we'll give you the NCR patrol armor and see what. Oh, you won't. You won't put. You won't put the NCR. I expect to be awed by your dizzy mercantile sense, boss. Oh, in fact, you. Oh, you just dropped. I was like, I am not wearing that crap. I expect to be awed by your dizzy no, no. mercantile sense, Noted. Boss. Absolutely noted. Um, so, all right, we've got a bounty onto Duster, which is six. I've got an armoured one. Um, we have got Ranger's outfit, which is seven. Patrol armour that you will not wear. And the Eastwoods Ensemble, which is ridiculously overpowered, yes. Um, I think, I th think then, how about the Desperado Cowboy hat? Oh, I don't know, that, 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 that definitely, I quite like the hat. I do, I quite like I the hat. I expect to be awed by your dizzy mercantile sense, boss. Cattleman Cowboy hat. Mm, no. I'm sure you'll be fair and equitable, boss. And Marsh. then I think we're going back to the original one, which was the gunfighter's hat. Oh no, no, no! That clips. No, no, no that, that, that. I'm that. sure you'll be fair and equitable, boss. That clips. Um. Oh, Ranger Grey hat. Oh. I expect to be awed by your dizzy mercantile sense, boss. This one gives you a melee weapon boost. Okay, no, 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 I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Yeah, this is definitely, definitely, and it doesn't clip. That's that's one of the important I things here. It does not clip. I mercantile sense, boss. You, know, you don't want bits of your head sticking through, do you? Not really. It's just not, it's not there, is it? Um, what about this one? This looked like the same hat, though. Oh, and you're not going to... Oh, you, you... I'm sure you'll be fair and equitable. You like the boss. ranger one. You like the ranger one as well, then. Because it has... Because it has protection. All right, then. Next up, weapon. You see, here's, here's what we got for you. Here's what we got for you. I'm going to show you. I like doing this. This is one of my... It's my thing. Right. You got your revolver. So, it's a, four, it's a 44. It's a good revolver. 49 damage. 76 DPS. Now, I was originally thinking, you know what? The lucky... It, it's it's about the same okay yeah I know you've got a I wouldn't leather. mind this so much if it weren't for that maniacal gleam in your eye no but look at it look, 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 look right it's 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 a classic right it is a classic but but I get it you 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 kind of had a 44 thing going and I was almost thinking of actually the mayor's leg which is a 44 um, but it's a sort of sawn off rifle and then I just thought Taurus Raging Bull. It's the Taurus, isn't it? You're a 44 man. Is that just because it's got better stats? I'm sure you'll be fair and equitable, boss. That's just because it's got better stats, isn't it? You, 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 you're going for what works. You're going for what works. Alright, I can't help but think. I cannot help but think. The 357 is more your style. But if a man wants a 44, he gets a 44. Right. Let's... I think what we're going to do... Yeah. Could you look kind of creepy like that? We're going to go and see the boomers. They were a bit of a laugh. Although, I tell you what, I think what I'm going to do first is have a bit of a sleep. It is getting late. Now, the GRA version is not what I need, is it? The Ranger Sequoia is actually not a GRA version, so I need to find the mods. The normal hunting pistol mods, which you're not going to have. Of course you're not going to have. Of course you're not going to bloody have. 
I don't suppose you've got the raging bull gold plate finish, I don't think so. Compensate. I've got one of those, didn't like it. Um No. We're looking for the raging bull. Taurus Raging Bull. No, not gonna have those either. Well that's annoying. Oh well. We will take your money. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's go and pick up some more stuff. Usually we can sell some crap to the Crimson Caravan as well. So, hopefully they've got a few more caps. And luckily for us, he's an open all hours kind of guy. Hey there. You looking Either that to or an buy or sell? Sell? I... Um, no, you don't have any money. And I'm guessing you don't have anything I need in... Exchange... Oh, I didn't check right away on, um... Not the robot's not gonna have uh, right away at all, is it? Of course not. Right, uh, and you don't actually have anything remotely useful. Mods. You never know, I suppose. No. Nothing. Damn it, and I brought some... Sledgehammer, not sledgehammers, uh, super sledges and a trail carbine to try and trade with them. Let's just check the medical facility and if they won't take this junk, to be honest, I can't be bothered going back to the van. I'm just going to store it on one of you two. Probably Veronica, seeing as poor Owl has got bad knees. You know, we should show some respect. Hello. Yeah, not early risers here, are we, eh? Get out of bed. Seriously. Oh, God, you know what? You're back. Yeah. Do you need medical attention? Shut up. I should have checked with the followers while I was... I'm not running back now. I should have... They would have given me a free rad away. Because you're a friend of the... Fo blah, blah, blah. Ooh, you've actually got some money. Excellent. Well, let's see, first of all, what we can buy from you. Not a lot. Maybe it's best to just... Take it anyway. Uh, Alright, and what am I going to sell you? I am going to sell you a super, super sledge or two. And a trail carbine. Maybe the trail carbines. No, that's really light. Tell you what, I have a super sledge. That one will get me more or less the whole... Okay, cool. Thank you very much. Take yes, and... Veronica, hi. You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? G good guess. Now, hopefully, we won't be getting shot at anymore. Are you still hanging out around here, George? That was pretty incredible. I've never seen anyone come out of the boomer's reign of death alive before. Well, that's nice, but now you have. Shouldn't you be going home or something? Becoming a useful member of society? Okay, guys, if you hear... Run, okay? Okay. The, oh, the hat does clip. The hat clips, dude. It clips. Dude, your head's swollen. Too big for any of the hats I have. Okay, so that's... Priority number one, we need to find a big hat for Raul. But not power armor. No, no, no. Yeah, he looks fine like that. Little bit of clipping. Okay. Right, yeah, so these guys are a little strange. They think I am the chosen one. Some of them think I'm female, but they want me to help out around here. And sun is coming up. So, um, but try to be nice to them. They have rocket launchers. As a general rule, I found it hey. hi, a good idea to be nice to people with rocket launchers. Or at least be nice to them or shoot them first. Get lost. I may be changing my rule on being nice to people with rocket launchers 
sometime soon. Anyway, so... We've got lots of people to help. Apparently there are four... Help the boomers around Nellis. We've got somebody quite close who wants our help. Somebody in this direction. Right after we check whatever this room is. Building. Gate security. Okay. Don't start stealing things from the people with rocket launchers. Okay. Yeah. Security garage? What the hell is that? Intercom? Security office. Okay. Don't break into the admittedly already broken terminal. And chat to the Burma. Watch your step, sister. Burma. Boomer. No, no, seriously, with the sister thing. I don't have anything to thing. say to you, outsider. Fine. I just wondered why you seem to be sleeping in a jail. But you know what? Never mind. Don't care. I did tell you they keep calling me sister, right? Okay. So they've got a garage with three bikes and apparently no way in and out. Or at least, not currently. Exit! Oh, well, we can go in and out there. All right, fair enough. So we had someone to help close by, over here. A Mr. Gutsy who does not seem to want to hurt us. Somebody without a helmet on. People who don't have helmets on want to talk. Watch your That's... step, sister. I'm, I'm telling you. These people have been locked up here for a long, long time. I mean, I keep my uh, my stubble short and everything, but I would say, on the whole, not a hugely feminine person. Unless they're... No, they've been calling me sister since before Veronica was around. Hello. Mother Pearl's instructions are clear. You can move freely around Nellis, and artillery spotters have orders not to fire on you. These are extraordinary privileges. Don't abuse them. Especially the last one. Mother Pearl said you had a bug problem. If I do, you'll be the first to know. No, what? Long story short, the power failed a few days ago because giant ants have tunneled into the generator room and set up a nest. I led a team down to exterminate them, but there were so many of them. We lost. Two killed, three wounded. Personally, I think it's more than a savage can handle. Oh. But if you want to kill those ants and switch the power back on, feel free. I can handle a few ants, not a problem. I'll do it even though you're just trying to get me killed. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Stay right sure, there. anyone can. But there's more than a few down da, 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 da. there. See for yourself. Yeah. But one other thing. The ants must be eating gunpowder from the munitions down there. Or something. They exploded when hit by a flamethrower. One of us was using a laser pistol. Same thing. Bullets seem okay. Just don't hit the artillery shells. Loyal's been working on some kind okay. of weapon to use against them. Maybe you should check with him. Loyal. Okay. Exploding ants. That's a little different. I'm gonna leave you guys outside. I have absolutely no faith in your ability to survive a wave of exploding ants. I have no faith in my own ability to, uh, to survive that. Where the hell are we going? Right. We're gonna see Loyal about a key... Ah. Ant misbehaving. Really ain't misbehaving. Sp okay. Loyal may have something to help with the ants. Kill all ants in generator room. Restart the two array generators, then reset the main power breaker. Piece of cake. Um, we've got one objective over here, and one objective over there. Step one, find lo- step one, focus, thank you. Step 1B, find loyal and get super weapon to kill exploding ants with. Door to PX. 
Door to washing well. Door to Rosie's. Where the hell is this loyal supposed to be? Nellis hangar neutral. Oh, this is right. We're going to find. Unless the ants are here, I'm going to assume this is where we're going to find. Loyal. Hello. Are you loyal? That sounds very odd. Hello. Hey. Boomer. Hello. I'd keep moving if I was you. Keep on moving, keep on moving. All right, let's have a look. This way. To the hangar! Okay. Oh, got a plane. A very, very broken plane. Hello? Watch your step, sister. Seriously? With the sister thing? You're the person I I'm hope looking Pearl for. Pearl knows what she's doing, letting you wander around Nellis as you please. <sighs> well, it must be because I'm of my feminine charms, I guess. Looking forward to making myself useful and slightly more masculine. Raquel says you're working on some kind of weapon to fight the giant ants. I started building a sonic emitter that might do the trick, but it's useless without knowing the exact frequency that would kill the ants. Um, speech. Uh, yeah. Any signal over 22,000 hertz at 250 more decibels should do the trick. <laughs> Hot damn, you're right. Yes. It's a matter of boosting across those thresholds. Not Boost exact them thresholds. Amplitude. You're smarter than you look. Just so happens I was testing I'm also it at more male than I look, hertz, apparently. So it should be good to go. Place it near their nest and cross your fingers. All right. Signal's too high for people to hear, so no harm done. But it might make you feel sick to your stomach. Excellent. We got a sonic emitter. 30. F oh, that's right. You. Morning. So you're the outsider. Lived your whole life out there, huh? Yep. Wow. I always thought you savages probably spoke a different language. Okay. But I hear you sound like us. Could we lose the whole savages thing? What do you do here? Me? I work with Loyal. Mostly electronics work in robotics. Keeping the old technologies alive, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, what can you tell me about Loyal? Can I trust the thing he's given me? Loyal's a great man, but he's getting on in years. So a younger's got to learn everything he knows. That'd be me. The man knows how to fix and build just about everything that was ever made. It's not easy keeping up with him. If you help him recover the lady, I figure... Oh, I figure it's been a nice day. Uh, yeah, uh, a real nice day. Recover lady? Hello? Did I say that? Sometimes I just say stupid things. Sorry about that. Pearl will tell you when the time comes. If... I mean... I should really be going. Um. Hello. What is it, outsider? I'm looking for ways to make myself useful. Uh, I'm already on. I'm do. I'll be back. I'm. I'm. I'll be back. That's a good thing to see, huh, boss? What? And what? That loyal guy. He's getting up there in years, but he still finds a way to make himself useful to his people. If you ask me, that's better than withering away all alone or holding on to some faded piece of glory from your past. That's very, very nice, yes. Um, at least you knew when to step back and start taking it easy. A lot of people don't. Lyle's using years of knowledge to help his tribe. I think it's a noble goal. Yes, I do. Even if his eyesight's as bad as every other boomer, apparently. Yeah, no, it's it's noble. Guess. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. Uh. Yeah, what? Old history, boss. I grew up in a place called Hidalgo Ranch, just outside Mexico City. It wasn't much, just a bit of a farm. 
with a house for three generations of Tejadas. I wasn't the best behaved kid. I was quick with my hands, with a pistol or a wrench. And I wasn't afraid to get into fights over it. I never killed anybody, but I had my share of run-ins with the police. Mostly my family kept me in line. This was before the war. We were far enough away from Mexico City when the bombs fell that we missed the worst of it. But things got bad quick. Okay. Go on. Just a few days after Mexico City was vaporized, refugees started pouring down the road to our ranch. We helped who we could, but there were so many. Eventually, my father started turning people away before we ran out of food. Things got violent. My father and I got our guns, and we drove them off. All right. About two dozen men came back in the night after we'd gone to sleep. They set fire to the ranch house and barred the doors from the outside. My whole family was trapped inside. I smelt the smoke, and I got myself and my little sister, Rafaela, out through a window. But everyone else, my parents, my grandmother, my two brothers, and two of my sisters all died. Crap. Rafael and I ran. We were pursued by some of the men who attacked our home. But I was always a good shot. The ones who came after us, I killed. The rest, I left be. I had to take care of Rafaela, not throw my life away on revenge. Yeah. Okay, that's not nice. And you blame yourself for this? And you, you, you can't think it's your fault. No one could stand against a dozen, dozen armed men alone. Yeah, it's not your fault, dude. It's not your fault. You were a kid as well. I know that, boss. That's not what I'm getting at. I'm just getting sentimental in my old age. Anyways, forget it. Just wanted that off my chest. Yeah, okay. Alright. So basically, things sucked for you before. Wait a minute. The, whatever, whoa, 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 what happened to the sister? I'm glad you decided to off one of the most powerful men in the Mojave. Life was getting boring anyway. Really. We're talking about Caesar now, right? We're talking about Caesar. Okay, yeah, yes. Well, I'm glad you approved. Questions, boss? Alright, I didn't. Mean, Kay doesn't want to talk anymore about sister. Okay. Um Bugs! We're we're trying to kill bugs, right? We're trying to kill bugs and we're going in the right direction. And we may have an ant. What was it? Um Is it What was it? What the hell was it? Remote signal transmitter? Was it that? I was expecting it to be a weapon, like a handheld thing. I pointed it at them and they popped or something. Um, exploded. Optional, place Loyal's sonic generator on the ant mound. Okay, no, 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 all right. It's a sonic generator. It's not a weapon, we gotta place it on the mound. We are heading in the right direction, aren't we? Yes, I believe so. So now we're looking for a building that supplies power. That looks to be it. This kind of reminds me of that whole Helios 1 thing. Put the power back on. I mean, it's kind of become a thing, isn't it? Supply power to everybody. Okay. So, door to Nellis Array Generators requires key. So, you guys, okay. stay here. Shoot first, they shoot me first. Put bodies later. Got it. I'm just gonna have a quick, a quick check. Can I, can I do the whole, oh yes I can. All right. Solar panels. Nellis Array. I've discovered Nellis Array. And... Oh. And I've discovered... Array Control Interface. 
Step one, though, was kill off... Yeah, okay. Kill off all ants in the generator room. Okay, wait a minute. No, there's another door there. There's another door. Okay, we got... Door to Nellis Array Generators. This one. And one on the other side. I want to go in the same one I'm leaving the guys outside in case I have to come running back in out screaming. Alright. So, I'm going to go in. You guys stay out here. I, in fact, I've changed my mind a tiny bit. Um, come over here. Guys, over here. Right behind you. Just when the standing around was getting excited. Yeah, the reason for that is if I come running out the door with exploding ants following me, I kind of want you guys far enough away so that when you shoot them, you don't get. Should have brought. Yeah. Okay. So wait here. I'll just wait here alone. Oh, it was laser weapons and fire weapons made them explode. I'm sure nothing will happen. But you know what? I'm not doing. I'm not having her punch exploding ants. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Uh. I guess they've heard. Okay, so far so good. And by that I mean so far no exploding. Let's have a look at these. Giant worker ant with meat and eggs. Um all right. Oh. A boomer. Okay. Lead pipe, frag grenade. I don't really need frag grenades, but I tell you what, I should set my grenades correctly. So do I want... I've actually... These are nuka grenades. I made a bunch of nuka grenades. I should just really stop taking so many grenades with me. I've taken too many. The nuka grenades are... Well, insanely strong. I mean, 1,000 damage. My God, that's a lot. Plasma grenades. Oh, sorry, pulse grenades. Plasma grenades. Plasma grenades are not as good. I mean, the only thing is I've run out of nuka quantum, so I can't make any more of these nuka grenades unless I find or make nuka quantum. Um, what else? I've got frag grenades, but... Yeah... Actually, you know what, though? These these creatures don't look that tough, do they? I probably do not need. Alright. Okay, let's not make that jump. I think there was a way around. Assault carbine worth a little bit. You know what? They didn't say I couldn't. Oh god. Loot their friends. Boomer flight suit. We don't actually have one. Or a boomer cap. Not sure I want one. Mind you, it's the sort of cap that. Boom might like. Okay. Giant ant workers. And, okay, that was the jump. What are those green things? All right, let's have a look at the map, see what it says we're supposed to be doing in here. Okay, we've got 
to be placed sonic generators on the ant mound and kill all the... It's saying something behind us. It doesn't mean the green thing's over there, does it? I don't think so. Okay, I have a feeling we have to get downstairs, preferably without falling down. And... I think I'm hearing creepy crawly. Alright. Let's go back to the stairs. Work our way down. So far, so good. Again. So, when... Are, oh, the green things are the... Ah, okay, right. There was another door I didn't even try and go in. I was sort of expecting to find an exit. Door to Redoubt! 06A! Okay. Teleporting base thing. Yes. No. 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 No, thank you. Yes. With one of the redoubts with death claws. No, thank you. Okay. Don't shoot those. Okay. So... Straight ahead, I need to kill some ants or put a... I'm not totally sure. What are these? Oh, electrical switch. Oh, no, I have to switch some electrical switches on as well. Okay. Surely I should kill whatever it is I'm supposed to be killing first. That would seem to be more sensible. Where are you? Door. Right, all right, well, let's let's do this side first then apparently we don't actually have anything to kill right at the moment Okay. Place sonic emitter on ant mound done it Activate the sonic emitter Ooh, okay, okay. Done it. Okay. Thump, thump. Oh, a special grenade launcher that I will never use. Still. Okay, so that was the sonic emitter. Now we need to go in... On the mound. Now we have to flick the switches. Okay. Um. No, I'm fine. I was. Oh, hello. Books, bottlehead, explosives. A nuke. Missiles. Ammunition. And. I mean, don't leave nukes. Oh, God, it fell off. Oh, that's slightly worrying, isn't it? Mind you, no, that isn't worrying. If you think about it, that means these weapon, this, these nukes don't explode when they're dropped, which is bound to be something that happens on occasion. All right. This trip's already worth it. How, how many shots have I made? Three or four? I think I've got a lot of ammunition to replace it. 
So, I was about to say, you know what? I should have brought the guys. Keep me company. Well, you know that would have gone badly. But I must admit, I was expecting more, um... Well, more ant. Really? A lot more. Okay. Am, am I done? Am I done? Restart the two array generators, then reset the main power brew. Is it this? No. No, it's back in here. It's back in here. I'm... I'm, I'm getting lost. If I hadn't have put the sonic emitter down, would that have been, like, activate the switches and, oh my god, we're all going to die? Is that upstairs, or...? Reda no, it's not in the redoubt. Pretty sure it's not in the redoubt. Is it this thing? Main switch! Okay. And... Return to Raquel and let her know the generators are running again. Really? That was it. That was the terrifying, scary mission that a mere savage could barely do. Really? Okay, now we got two choices here. Aww, right behind you, boss. The was we can either pretend we killed off thousands of them so they'll be endlessly grateful, or we can laugh at her for being scared of three or four bugs. Yippee! -yay, there'll be no wedding bells for today.